Welcome to this Bible Reflection. The Light of the World Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk, walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You testify on your own behalf, so your testimony cannot be verified. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I do testify on my own behalf, my testimony can be verified, because I know where I came from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by appearances, but I do not judge anyone, and even if I should judge, my judgment is valid, because I am not alone, but it is I and the Father who sent me. Even in your law it is written that the testimony of two men can be verified. I testify on my behalf, and so does the Father who sent me. So they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while teaching in the treasury in the temple area, but no one arrested him because he, his hour had not yet come. Jesus, the Father's ambassador, he said to them again, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them what I told you from the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true. That what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe him. Jesus and Abraham, Jesus then said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciple, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are the descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say, How will you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. The Pharisees rejected Jesus even though he was speaking truth, but others listened and believed as we see in the passage. To them the Lord said, If you continue in my word, then you are truly my disciples, and you will know my truth, and the truth will set you free. Many people, however, thought he was offering freedom from Roman political oppression or even from the troubles of the life, but that's not what Jesus meant at all. He was offering freedom from sin. When we believe the truth of the gospel and turn to the Savior for salvation, we're set free from the penalty of sin, which is eternal condemnation. But did you know that God's truth also sets us free from the power of sin right now? Even though we'll continue to struggle with temptation after we're saved, we now have within us Christ's divine strength to resist and overcome it. Do you feel stuck in sinful patterns and desires? As Jesus said, continuing in God's word is key to true freedom fill your mind with his truth and sin will lose its power over you today and for all of eternity thank you for listening god bless you and i love you